So are you a fan of films like Shaun of the Dead, Evil Dead 2 and 3, and Peter Jackson's Brain Dead, a.k.a. Dead Alive? Well, you're going to like this movie then. And this one is called I Survived a Zombie Holocaust. Not Apocalypse, because that's something else. I Survived a Zombie Holocaust. Now, this is a, a New Zealand movie directed by Guy Pigeon, I believe his name is, and is very much a horror comedy. So don't really be expecting any high drama here. And basically it's a little bit of a, a kind of high concept zombie movie where we basically we see a production of a low budget zombie film actually on screen. They're actually making a movie, like a film within a film. And of course, as you probably can guess, uh, real zombies actually end up appearing and attack the crew and they can't, a lot of them initially can't tell if uh, people are real zombies or kind of fake ones. And hilarity ensues. And basically, it focuses around the central character who is this kind of nerdy guy who's he's basically first day on set and he's kind of this aspiring writer, but he's basically just a kind of dog's body. And it's kind of his plight as he kind of uh, navigates all these different sort of characters. You know, the director, the kind of the, uh, the the catering girl that he's kind of got a bit of a crush on, things like that, basically. Uh, so that's the kind of that's the kind of story here. So how does this movie kind of compare to say, said films? I have to say pretty well. I think this has a kind of good job of standing on uh, on their shoulders. Although I don't think it's quite as good as, as those films. And I'll come on to why. But let's talk about the positives first of all. First of all, I want to talk about the actual gore effects here. And the actual zombie effects. Because I was really impressed with them. When you first watch this film, the first zombies that you'll see are going to be the ones from the the film within the film. So don't be too put off by them, first of all, because they're meant to kind of look a bit shoddy. But when we actually see, we see the real zombies here, I actually think they look really good and they do a good job in kind of giving you a kind of a large amount of like gore this is why it's, it reminds me so much of the kind of the early peter jackson work like bad taste and you know brain dead and things like that because there is a kind of uh, a, a large amount of gore but it's, it's never kind of it, in a vein where you kind of have to look away because it's so kind of realistic there's a lot of gore and a lot of it is practical effects but it's kind of done with its sort of tongue-in-cheek so you kind of, you never kind of again, oh, I can't watch this because it's so disturbing. So there, there is that. But I'm going to come on to that again in a minute. So fantastic gore effects, fantastic makeup effects. I think the, the actual characters here are kind of, kind of quite fun as well. Uh, lots of different sort of type of characters. And they all kind of have their little uh, little trait here. And it, it's, it's kind of meta as well. So it's actually sort of poking fun at the kind of the uh, particular obviously the the horror genre in particular uh, zombie films and kind of tv shows and stuff like that so if you're a fan of of, of that kind of cinema you're going to get a lot more out of this than i think maybe you're kind of your sort of typical uh, just casual fan if that makes sense so I, I like the characters and you know it's a good punchy film it goes at a good pace so the only, other, the only real negatives I'll say of this film, it, it goes maybe a little too far on the comedy side. I, I, I would say it borders on spoofing sometimes. Now, if you look at the kind of the previous films that I've mentioned, like Brain Dead, like Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, Shaun of the Dead, they were sort of they had comedy elements, but you could still kind of watch them and get in, in kind of invested in the in the narrative. So with this film, I felt it just kind of strayed it one step further into the kind of the, the kind of almost sort of straight out farce. So you couldn't quite, I don't know, you couldn't quite get into the kind of the dramatic side of it. Not that there was much, but basically the, 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 the actual story side of it kind of falls away a little bit because it kind of plays a little bit too hard on the comedy card. Now, it's not a straight out spoof. I recently reviewed one called The Walking Deceased, which was a kind of a straight out Walking Dead spoof. It doesn't go as far as that. But it's certainly a little bit more kind of like uh, comedic and a little bit more out there than the kind of those other films. And it, it, I, I thought if it rained it in just a little bit more, you could have kind of maybe enjoyed it as a uh, more of an, an actual story, an actual zombie film rather than just a kind of comedy film. Now, the actual, like I said, I think some of the comedy here is possibly a little bit too specific to kind of horror fans. If you are more of a mainstream kind of, you know, the, the people who went to see Shaun of the Dead, um, who hadn't really watched zombie films before, could still enjoy that. This this one, I think some of the kind of references and things like that will be a little bit lost on, on, on people, I think, some of the time. And the other thing I guess I would say as, as a negative as well was the kind of the main character uh, wasn't as strong. He's meant to be this kind of nerdy guy, uh, but he's he's just not as likable as you kind of your you know your Sean, your Ash. 
um, you know, your I forget the guy's name from from uh, from Brain Dead now, but basically Neville, I think it was something like that. Anyway, but basically his kind of uh, the kind of the geeky nerdy, but you still kind of liked him. You still kind of rooted for them, and you and you kind of enjoyed the character. This guy. Um, I mean, it's not it's not bad as it's offensive or anything like that, but he just I don't know. You just don't feel like you can kind of get behind him a little bit. He's a little bit too uh, sort of nerdy almost to kind of to, kind of, to do, do the root behind. So I, although I felt this film was really really enjoyable and I got a lot from it, there are a couple of CGI uh, additional blood scenes which kind of stood out to me a little bit. I guess that's the only other thing. Though it is, I, I enjoyed it, and, it, and I sat, you, it's very, you know, it's, it's fair to compare it to those other films. I don't think it was quite as strong as some of those because it just, it just maybe goes a little bit too far uh, on the comedy and the character. You know, not quite, not quite as likable as you kind of the, the, those other films that I've mentioned, those classics, those zombie classics that I've told you about. But check it out because it is a fun film. There's some pretty decent effects here. It's nice to see, uh, you know, a film come out of New Zealand that really does, uh, you know, bring back the glory days of, of kind of Peter Jackson. So I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10. I definitely think it's worth worth watching. Um, so go check it out. Let me know what you think if you've seen it and leave me a comment. And I'm not forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.